Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. I'm your host, Siobhan, where I'm going to inspire and motivate you to show up for yourself. This week, I am loving two things. One is I completed my 21-day challenge where from July 1st to July 21st, I worked out four days per week. Some days I worked out more than four, but for the most part, it was four days per week. And that is the commitment that I made to myself just to challenge myself to do something new. Y'all know how I am. And not just myself, but also the members of the Be Free Inner Circle was also um, taking part of the challenge. And I'm so proud of many other ladies who actually completed um, their challenge for the month. And we're going to do another challenge in August because it helps build momentum It keeps everyone accountable. We're creating new lifestyle changes and we're doing it together. So I absolutely love that. And then the second thing that I am loving and is what this episode is going to be about today is that I gave up coffee for two whole months. Went without coffee from May 21st to July 21st. And so much that I want to share with you today in regards to what that experience was like, what I was able to gain and really learn. Um, So I'm going to go into that in a moment. However, I first want to read a review and I haven't done this in a minute. Not that the reviews aren't coming in because they definitely are. A lot of you have been sharing with me on Instagram as well as Apple Podcasts, letting me know how the podcast is impacting your life. So thank you so much. Please keep that coming. But this particular review I'm going to read actually came from a young lady named Jennifer who attended the Be Free meetup this past weekend. And she says, when I tell you I'm forever changed because of this event, not only was I able to say things out loud that I've only said in my head, but I felt safe. I felt that I could speak my truth with no judgment. Thank you to every woman that attended and shared, encouraged, lift, lifted up, spoke life into, and supported me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I've told so many people about the next month's meetup. I better go get my ticket before it sells out. Thank you, Be Free Project, for providing the space and giving your time. I'm forever grateful. The food from Take a Break Quick Catering was awesome. I'm such a picky eater and usually don't have options at events like this, but I was pleasantly surprised that not only was there an option for me, but it was delicious. Thanks for the great food. And so I wanted to share that because this was Jennifer's first time attending the Be Free Meetup, and that was her beautiful review that she left on Instagram. And when I read it, I was blown away because I try really hard to cultivate the perfect experience, whether you engage with me online or offline. The Be Free Meetup is my baby. And so this past weekend was the first Be Free Meetup of 2019. I now host them every third Saturday for the remainder of the year. And it was a sold out event. And it was so beautiful to have so many women in the room, like Jennifer said, judgment free, feeling safe to share, making meaningful connections, and feeling inspired to really show up for themselves. And that just melts my heart. And then thank you to Take a Break Quick Catering for providing delicious food. Gone Girl Go provided journal prompt affirmation cards for everyone to take home with them. And it was really a beautiful experience. And so the next Be Free Meetup is Saturday. August 17th and you can grab your ticket now. Early bird ends really soon so you definitely want to hop on that right away and also it doesn't matter where you are located. Um, People do travel in to attend the Be Free Meetup. There was Linda who came in from Maryland and Wilma came in from New York and so it was really such a beautiful experience so I wanted to kind of share that with the Girl Be Free listeners. So on to today's topic which is what I've learned after giving up coffee for 60 days. Now, if you listen to the episode titled Birthing My Vision, you will know that for the past couple of months, um, I have been working on my baby, um, which is the Motherless Child Guidebook, A Sacred Space for Healing Your Mother Wounds. 
and I decided to give up something that I felt that I needed in order to make space for the vision that I was birthing. Coffee, as you know, was one of the things that I chose to give up. I felt that in order to, I guess, be committed, in order to show dedication and discipline, that I wanted to give up something that I felt that I needed that I could not go without. I did go without it for a full two months, so much that I didn't even have a sample of my son's coffee ice cream when he had it about a month ago, I believe. I definitely wanted some of the ice cream, but I'm like, oh no, it has coffee and I can't have it. So I was really intentional about not having coffee at all. And so I just want to share a couple of things that I was able to kind of take away from my experience. And I'm hoping that what I share today will be encouragement and motivation for you to think about some things in your life that you can give up in order to get more of what you want. All right. So the first couple of days, maybe even a week, I will say that I was crabby. I was easily irritated. Um, I was very short with certain people and I was just, oh, I, was, <laughs> I really felt the effects of the coffee for sure. And I remember it was when my children were still um, doing their schoolwork and we were at the library one day and they both just kept talking and saying stuff. And I think that was like my first or second day without coffee. And I had to walk away. I left them in the quiet room in the library and I had to go for a walk because I just could not take it anymore. And so I realized that I was crabby because of the coffee. And so it was good to purge my system from it um, because... You know, you never know. You just become dependent on certain things or whatever. So that was the first couple of days. Um, and then even though I was drinking tea, it's not the same as coffee, right? However, one of the things that I've learned, and I'm going to give you a list here, is that I can do hard things, right? And so whatever that thing that I think is hard, I can really do it when I put my mind to it. And when I tell myself that something is hard or I'm going to try to do something, then I'm more likely not to do it. But for me, I was like, you know what? I'm giving it up. I'm committed to it. I am being dedicated as I work on producing something that is going to be life changing and I can do it. And so, yes, I can do hard things no matter what it is, you know. The next thing I want to point out is that once I decide to do something, I'm going to get it done, period, right? So there's no going back and forth with me. Once I make a decision that this is what I'm sticking to, I will complete it until the very end. And this is not the first time that I've done something like this. As I mentioned in the beginning, um, I just finished a challenge where I was, you know, working out four days a week, which wasn't easy, but I committed to it. Um, last year, or maybe it was a year before last, I was a vegan for, I think, six and a half months. And even prior to that, prior to that, I did the whole 30 diet. So as you can see, I like a good challenge. I like stretching myself to see what I can get done and how much I can accomplish. And again, I can do hard things. And so it's really just about what will I put my mind to and following through with whatever I start versus giving up on myself. Another thing that I learned is that I am powerful, I am strong, and more so than I give myself credit. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't do that, or oh, I don't know if that's possible. But in actuality, I can do it. Like I'm very strong um, and very strong-willed, I should say. Um, next is that I can keep my word and my commitment and my promise to myself, which is more important than what everybody else, you know, does for me in some way. Like I have to be able to trust my own word because if I can trust myself, then that means I can believe in myself and I know that I'm going to follow through. Next, I thrive off of accountability. I've shared plenty of times I have a number of people in my life that hold me accountable, but when it came to giving up coffee, not only did I share it with my family, I shared it with my friends, and I also shared it with my community, whether, you know, on here on the podcast, if you're in the Be Free Inner Circle, you follow me on social media, you've heard me talk about giving up coffee. 
And I did that intentionally because I wanted people to be aware of it, to see that I was keeping my word, keeping that commitment, hold me accountable. And then when I complete the goal, y'all can celebrate with me. And so I even had um, women in the Be Free Inner Circle like, oh, yeah, you get to have coffee tomorrow or, you know, just really celebrating with me. And that felt really good. And when I can show and practice discipline and you guys can see me honor them honor that then that can challenge you to be committed in your own life so that you don't have to keep giving up so quickly the last thing actually two things i want to mention is that and this is probably the most important everything starts in your mind so what you tell yourself and what you believe about yourself that is what matters so for me i told myself I'm not having coffee until July 21st. I'm not having coffee until July 21st. And because I kept saying that, that was the rule. That's what I had to stand by. There was no going back on that. And so because I told my mind that over and over again, that was my reality. And I didn't give up on that. And then the final piece, which is probably the most important, is that I created something so beautiful during this time of giving up something so that I can gain something else. And that beautiful project that I now am done with, and my graphic designer is working on it as we speak, that came out of me sacrificing something in order to get something else. And I'm so proud, and I'll be talking about this in upcoming episodes, but I'm really, really proud of the motherless child guidebook i'm proud of the commitment that i made to myself i'm proud of the work a lot of work (laughs) um, that i put into it to see that i was able to sacrifice something that i thought that i needed in order to make space for more of what i desired there's no better feeling i mean it's really a great feeling and so As you can see, this wasn't just about giving up coffee. It's about letting go of the things that you feel like you need or you have to have in order to get more or receive more of what you desire. You know, so it could really be anything that you give up in order to gain more. It could be coffee if that's your thing, but it has to be intention behind it. It has to be a purpose. Like don't just give up coffee or don't just start working out just for the sake of doing it. But what is the intention behind it? And so I wanted to share, I asked this question in the Be Free Inner Circle. What are you willing to give up in order to gain something you want? And so some of the responses that I got in the Be Free Inner Circle thus far is Latanya says, I'm willing to give up my time in the morning to truly get a position that I love. Andrea Nelson says, I am prepared to sacrifice my social life to whatever degree needed to start and finish this nurse practitioner program that I'm starting in August. Jeanette says, I'm willing to sacrifice my comfortability and step up and go after what I want, even when I'd, ra- even when I'd rather hide. I love all of those. And then let me share what some of the ladies or yeah, ladies said on Facebook, because I think that this can be inspiring as we think about what we need to give up in order to receive more of what we want in our lives. So on Facebook, um, a young lady says she's willing to give up ego. Someone else said they're willing to give up past hurt, pain, and distractions. Someone else says they're willing to give up their comfort zone. Someone else says excuses. Someone said fear. Someone else said fear of failure and past mistakes. I see the word control. So there's a number of things that people are willing to give up to get more of what they desire. And so I want to ask you the same question is what are you willing to give up in order to gain something that you truly desire? And I recommend, you know, taking time to um, journal you know about that. If you want to share your response with me, you can definitely do so by um, shooting me a DM on Instagram. You can follow me at Be Free Project and let me know. And as you can see, the more that you are willing to give up to get more of what you desire, that is when you'll start to see a shift happen in your life.
what I want you to know is that a few things coming up. The next, as I mentioned earlier, the next Be Free Meetup is Saturday, August 17th. Early bird tickets ends on July 27th, so make sure you snag your ticket ASAP and be sure to invite a friend. That would be cool. If you have not yet, Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you continue to listen. You can share this podcast anywhere on social media. Just tag me at Be Free Project so that I can see it. And then send me a review, you know. Um, shoot me a DM on Instagram and let me know what you think about the podcast, this episode, or any other episode that you've listened to. You can also leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. And the last thing I'm going to share is that I highly recommend if you're someone who um, needs to work on shifting your mindset and focusing on positive thoughts, order a pack of the Girl Be Free affirmation cards because they're going to help you begin to shift your mindset so that you can kind of focus more on you and the things that you want versus the things that are holding you back. So the link to the Girl Be Free affirmation cards will be in the show notes. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, girl, be free.